like the hardest thing is coming back hi guys my name is Ifeda and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be doing a review of the very popular cosarex nail mucin essence and also my first impressions and thoughts about the cosarex advanced nail 92 all-in-one cream the complementary moisturizer i'll be sharing my thoughts about them the science behind snail mucin and what i think about them whether i think it's worth your coins to hear about that let's talk about it That's, i'll be reviewing this the cosarex snail mucin essence before i go ahead to talk about the cream um so first let's talk about the science behind snail mucin and why it's become so popular right now it's become very popular right now because of tiktok the science really hasn't changed and it's been popular for quite some time i say it's with the cosarex snail mucin essence about three years ago and but now it has rejuvenated because that's what tiktok does but the science behind, behind snail mucin essence is that firstly snail mucin essence contains hyaluronic acid which makes it a very good humectant for the skin so we're looking at really good hydrating properties for all skin types especially for dry skin types one of the reasons i really really like it this has been found in studies to have anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties it helps with wound healing and um helps with skin healing and the third the third reason this is not really and this is not the science this is not the science is the stickiness the way the aesthetics the aesthetic of the product of snail mucin itself is really really slimy and that sliminess just makes it very aesthetically pleasing and that's one of the reasons it's quite popular the fourth reason it's popular is because it's glowy it's glossy it's hydrating it creates this nice hydrating film over your skin and when you apply it over your skin because your skin looks so glowy and when the, when the light hits your skin it kind of reflects off it and in a way makes your imperfections look, look less obvious but they're still there so in that way, people think that it um, helps with hyperpigmentation and post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation and post-inflammatory erythema, even though it does not. And fifthly, makeup wearers like you and me, I found it to be a good makeup base because it is quite sticky. Think e.l.f., primer, milk makeup, hydro grip. That kind of stickiness. Let's talk about the ingredients of this Crusarex snail mucin essence. It contains snail secretion filtrate, it contains betaine, arginine, panthenol, um, which are really good ingredients. They are skin loving ingredients, ingredients with antioxidant effects for the skin, and are all really good skin loving ingredients. It has a very minimal ingredient list. The ingredients on the list are no more than eight or nine. Um, the only ingredient that is a little bit is arginine, and arginine is not fungal acne safe. Which is something to bear in mind. In terms of texture, it has a nice silky texture, really nice silky slimy texture that feels really good on the skin. I think one of the reasons many people like that, one of the reasons I like this is because of how well it applies on the skin. Like it literally goes well, so smooth, so silky, you don't have to fight to. It just glides in really well and has really nice cosmetic elegance it also looks good under makeup and with continued use of this i found that my skin looked more hydrated looked plumper looked fuller and just looked like my skin hydration was intact another thing about this is because it's so well hydrating it also helps with the penetration and absorption of ingredients that are layered over it and that can be a good thing and a bad thing it can be a good thing in terms in the sense that it helps to increase the absorption and makes the ingredients and um, products more efficacious. On the other hand, with increased absorption and increased penetration of ingredients, you also have increased side effects. So you're more likely to get probably get irritation from it. Because I name is in especially for its hydrating properties, for its anti-inflammatory properties, and I think it's a worthy product to like buy. Getting, um, the reason it's getting questionable hype these days about it's been irritating is because one the original the main ingredient is snail secretion filtrates it is got from the mucin of snails it is called snail secretion filtrate because it's gotten from a snail and then filtered yes and it's filtered because you have to remove the impurities the dirt and grime from all of it, from it but that does not mean that all of the grime and dirt and potentially irritant ingredients gets removed from the snail secretion and in that in and for that reason it can be irritate, irritating for people who have very sensitive skin because it has arginine which is not fungi, fungal acne safe it can allow the fungus that causes fungal acne even though it's not really acne to proliferate and grow on your skin what's making you have a bout of fungal acne now that's the second reason this might be a problem for people for certain people that being said i do not think that everyone who uses cosarex nail mucin essence will get an irritation or get fungal acne of course what i would say is just like every other skincare product please do a patch test and if you find that you have an irritation or 
you have to develop fungal acne please stop using it also if you start to use it in a long time or you have used it before and you feel like this has broken you out or this has, this has given you all the, and you find that this has caused your skin irritation i would say stop using it onto the cream the cream contains the same snail secretion filtrate and contains all the products you find in the essence some additional ingredients it contains the panthenol the arginine but then contains cetary olivate contains sorbitol olivate contains some other ingredients that make this cream less safe for acne compared with the essence cetaryl alcohol palmitic acid mycetic acid and all of these um, ingredients are not fun are not fungal acne safe so i would say that if you wanted to choose one and you were worried about irritation you probably should go for the essence this is more likely to cause fungal acne and probably has the potential to be put probably has the potential to be more irritating compared to the essence I've used this multiple times over the last three years or so that it came out and this I just started using this and I have no experience any irritation from it yet um, but my first impressions about this is that it's really hydrating it's a nice moisturizer gives a really nice glow and it gives a nice hydration and, and gives nice moisture that lasts throughout the day um, however it's, it potentially can be more irritating for people who have very sensitive skin people who are allergic to snail mucin how do I use the Cosarex snail mucin essence so I like to use this after cleansing my face applying a toner and or applying a hydrating mist and I usually like to use the Avin thermal water or the La Roche Posay thermal water and then I go ahead with this apply my moisturizer sunscreen if it's in the morning and I'm good to go and I really like using that and one thing I should mention about these products is that they really help your makeup to stay longer in terms of like sticking on to makeup and gripping on to makeup which is a really good thing as well and that's another reason why people who wear makeup find it to be a very good base for makeup because it gives the glow on one hand and also creates a little bit of a tackiness that helps makeup to stick on to it that one so i should also mention that this does not help with post hyper post inflammatory hyperpigmentation post inflammatory erythema really a hydrating product helps with surface hydration of your skin helps to keep and keep in all of that water and helps to reduce trans epidermal water loss that's what i would say about this but does not help with hyperpigmentation i really really like this i stopped using the snow mason essence for more than a year and i was using this when i was back home in nigeria religiously i used to buy this like myself like buy it and use it and then i stopped using it for a while recently i saw it again recently i saw it again and i was like hmm let me get it again and let me see how it does and honestly my skin absolutely loves so if your skin loves this please keep on using it there's no problem there's literally no problem with using it it's a hydrating humectant like many other ingredients like hyaluronic acid like glycerin please keep using it helps to keep water into your skin and it will always be a skin loving ingredient i think that's a really really solid product i love the cosarex snow mucin essence i have not tried any other snow mucin product and um, product but i love this the cosarex snow mucin essence and i think it's really really worth a try i would say do a patch test if you have very sensitive skin or very skin that gets easily irritated and try it out if you cannot use this or you find that your skin is irritated by it i don't think you can get the same hydrating properties from other from other products as well to be honest but i my skin really really loves this it's happy with this and if your skin loves this i would say keep using it it's a it's a really good product it's goated and it is one of the most sold skincare products this year for good reason i bought it again i have used it daily and i love what it does for my skin so yes, yeah, so those are my thoughts about the Cosarex No Missing Essence and the Cosarex All-in-One Cream. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. If you like it, if you've had any reactions to it, negative and positive reactions, let me know in the comment section below. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.